if you take 13 pitchers and then you have all the starters, and here are the starters in my mind. Stanton's in left, Gardner is in center, Judge is in right. Your third baseman, if the ankle is okay, and I believe it is, it's Gio Urshela, then D.D. Gregorius, then Glaber Torres, and then D.J. LeMayu with Gary Sanchez behind the plate. Right. The D.H., if he's healthy, and that's a big if, everything changes if he's not healthy, is Encarnacion. I saw there are your uh, nine players. Mm -hmm. So you need three more to flush out a 25-man roster. Romine's one of them. Has to be. That's mm -hmm. one. So you have two spots remaining. You can choose between Tyler Wade, who can play everywhere and gives you great speed up the bench. Right. Cameron Mabin. Now, you can say you have no other backup outfielder. Wade could be your backup outfielder. Yeah. And if there's an injury, you can activate Mabin. Right. Then you have Voight and Ford. I'm telling you, the way I look at it right now, I think Voigt's going to have a hard time making this team, especially if Encarnacion is healthy. If he's healthy, LeMayu's your first baseman. And who do you pinch, for, hit, pinch hit for in that lineup? Nobody. So you don't really need a pinch hitter. So I think that leaves Voigt and Ford out. But if Encarnacion's not healthy, here's where I'll surprise you. They might actually go with Ford. Ford could be the guy that could be the left-handed bat. All of a sudden... Maven can play the outfield. Your DH could be Ford as a lefty batter, against, depending on who the Twins are going to pitch. Right. And Stanton could be your DH. So, Stanton's your DH, and then wow. Ford comes off the bench. So there's just no real place for Voight. I mean, he struggled down the street. What was he, one for 30, one, one for, for 31? It's, it's something that's, you know, that's bad. And he, and he also looked like he was strong. I felt sorry for the kid because he's had a really good year. The only way I think Voight makes it, Don, is if, in fact, Urshela is hurt. If he's hurt, then is your third baseman, then Voight becomes your everyday for first baseman, I think. But I think there's also some wiggle room because they're impressed with the kind of at-bats that, that uh, Mike Ford has given them. I just think the composition of this roster is just fascinating. But you do have to wonder, do they value Wade's versatility and speed as much as I do? Wade would be on my roster. So my two got my three guys off the bench would be Romine, Wade, and Mabin. Now, if they carry 12 pitchers, which I think they could, you leave out Guerin, you take Sessa and Loazaga, that gives you 12, and then you could pick from Voigt and Ford. And you could actually reward Voigt for a good season but a bad finish. So I'm not sure how they're going to go, and they have until Friday to make up their minds. F Ford's such a great story. Voigt, I mean, he hasn't been with the Yankees long, but he was such a contributor last year, Michael and had big moments early this year, how do, how do they value that? Do they value, listen, it's a great you're, more, I, great you're more a part of the team than Ford is, but on the other hand, you want a reward. He's not, Ford's not really a kid, but he's getting the opportunity here. Hey, we, we threw you to the wolves. You came through. But then it just comes down to who's, who's going to help you? Who's got a better chance of helping you? Right. A guy that has been there, has been to, been to the playoffs, Right, he's played in Major League Baseball a little while, or a kid that's going to be making his debut right, in the postseason. Yeah.